What did you just say? I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Well, 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 it's that time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be watching the 2023 version of The Flash. With all the controversy around Ezra Miller, who's starring as The Flash, obviously we know him from Zack Snyder's Justice League, there is a lot to be excited about. With all the controversy surrounding Ezra Miller leading up to this movie, it's no wonder it didn't do too great at the box office. However, I'm not going to let that deter me from trying to enjoy the movie. The movie has an excellent cast as well. Now, I'm excited to see Michael Keaton, but I'm going to get some hate and say I do prefer Ben Affleck as Batman, but I do think he makes a small appearance in this movie. Also, you have Ron Livingston turning up as Ezra Miller, The Flash's father, replacing Billy Crudup, who was in Zack Snyder's Justice League. I think it was a disgrace to replace Billy Crudup. Obviously, we love him as Dr. Manhattan in Zack Snyder's The Watchmen. Returning cast member as well is Michael Shannon, of course, who played General Zod in The Man of Steel from 2013. I saw the very first trailer for the movie, but other than that, I really don't know anything about this film. I don't know who the villain is or villains. I haven't really got a clue. I know that Supergirl's in it. There's two versions of The Flash, but that's literally all I know. I don't know anything else. If you'd like to watch the full reaction with me, please join our Patreon. The link will be down in the description. But for all of you mad people, let's get into our reaction of The Flash 2023. Let's do this. You can't rush a good sandwich, dude. Uh, you go, uh, uh, Shut up. He's annoying me already. Good morning, Mr. Allen. Oh, Jeremy Irons. Why is our bat friend even awake? That was my first thought. But we haven't hired Superman. What about Diana? My other first thought. This I'm sorry, is my sandwich you. red? I learned my lesson on the boat last year. Oh my god. Oh, that's a bit of a Superman move, weren't it? Hi. I love you! He's gonna get hit by a car. I need you here now, Barry. Hi, Bruce. Yes, I'm... So we're going with a comedy movie. All right, it does look sick. <laughs> I could do that. I mean, I do like The Flash as a character, but he's never been one of my favorite DC characters. I know a lot of you out there really like love The Flash. I think he's all right. I'm Batman all day, bruv. Well, that don't look too good, does it? Well done. Why aren't you here? That's a big deal, actually, ain't it? Oh, oh, he is here. <laughs> Let me get emotional. It's the last time I'm ever going to see Affleck as Batman. Falcone's idiot kid decided to try to play in the big leagues. Oh, I love him as Batman. I don't care what anyone says. Somebody has to save the rest of the world, so I was going to do that, if you don't mind. I can tell already, compared to the last time we see them all together with Justice League, it's a lot more cartoony. Does that make sense? More Marvel looking, like the, the suits and that are like more smooth and clean. I prefer his older suit. On it. Oh my goodness, we've got loads of babies there. No, we need to save all of them. Right, so the bad guys are nearly here. Come on, Affleck. That's a pretty cool CGI bike. I don't think it's as cool as the one that Christian Bow had. And it's definitely missing the Junkie XL Batman theme. There you go. He swings fine. No, it's not. If he says it, Which is good. he knows. Running on empty, Alfred. Oh, it's calories. <sighs> he was right. It's the collapse of the East Wing. Oh, no. Not the babies. No. No, they're all going out the window, bruv. Right, how is he going to save all of these? Like, how? He's running up the wall. Okay, that's pretty cool. Please save them all. Does this mean he's running out of energy, right? With the CGI babies that don't look real. 
Oh, he's getting some food first. Oh, I see. Okay. That's how it works for him. Okay, okay. Nice toilet bowl. So, if he eats a lot, it slows down more. Baby in a microwave. That's not a good idea. I'll save the baby from acid. Knife. Baby in a microwave. That just seems like such a bad idea. Oh, you've got to save the dog. Well done, Flash. Well done, Flash. Well done. Yeah, some of the uh, the CGI thing with the babies there, you could see clearly that they were animated and it just didn't look that great. He's got a different suit on, hasn't he, Batman? Of course he's going to go straight for it. Oh, I love him, man. Oh, bro, that's sick. Prefer the older suit. That's just me. This one looks a bit too uh, cosplay. <laughs> He'd rather jump out than fight him. Over we go. That's not going to hold, is it? It could wipe out half of Gotham by lunchtime. It's not going to hold. Bro, I didn't know she was making an appearance. Sorry, I'm late. Ah, uh, what a shame we ain't gonna get to see these like together again, man. I'm gutted. Hi. Hey. She is Wonder Woman, isn't she? My ego's far too big to say thank you to someone else. You idiot. Powerful persona to come. Oh. The lasso of truth. Lasso of truth. I know sex exists. I've just never experienced. I uh, said so that we're making it a comedy, right? Okay, I've got to roll with it. I have to run. Always a pleasure. See you later, Wonder Woman forever. DC, you're wrong for getting rid of her. This little superhero needs his breakfast. Goodbye, Flash. Yeah, I don't like your suit. Will you be home for breakfast, sir? <laughs> so we've seen Affleck get to say goodbye to him, I guess. Now, is that fast enough for you? Yeah, it was a cool intro, man. It was nice to see Gal Gadot again for the, well, for the final time. I just can't believe they've got rid of her. Stupid. Ate your keys. Your keys' grandmother died, and they need a personal day. My dog get my homework. You need to focus your motion. You need to focus on your hairline, bruv. You shouldn't still be getting me coffee after all these years. You're right. But go get me a coffee. Oh, shame. You're gonna love this. Is that the guy who used to be on Vine? Diligence. It's not, is it? Or is it? <laughs> like if we're up to you, we'd still be scraping Ted Bundy's molders. Makano or Mako or something like that. Who plays the piano? Barry Allen from school. Ah, <laughs> uh, Barry, you didn't tell us you had a friend from school. Oh, is that her from the, the girl that he saved, Justice League? Oh my god. Um, Pretty girl. Maybe I was just thinking about you. Oh. Your father's appeal is tomorrow, right? Y yeah. What's she doing then? I'm covering it for the paper. Ah, uh, okay. Would want to believe that their father killed their mother. What do you mean believe? Why would she say that? So that's just like put a cut straight in that whole relationship. Sorry, I have no official comment at this time. But that's just killed that, that love story that Zack Snyder built up. <laughs> she ended that then. Just like that. Fuck you, DC. Hey, Barry. How you, how you doing? I'm fine. Ron Livingston. Yeah, that's who I said who replaced Billy Quiddup, a.k.a. Dr. Manahan. I had a friend run the old security camera footage from the store through this new program he's developed. What? You never look up, Dad. Ah. Uh, We've done this before. This was a last-ditch effort. So the Dad's kind of accepted his fate. Probably easier for me to be in here than out there without her. I like Ron Livingston as an actor very, very much. I also love Billy Quiddup. No house is about like basil, tomatoes. It's at his old house. Okay, so we're going back in time to remember what happened. Not every problem has a solution. Sometimes you just have to let go. That's the hardest thing in life is letting go. I know that only too well. Barry needs you to do him a favor. Oh, Barry, <laughs> yeah, anything. Anything for his son. 
I thought you guys went to the store this morning. But I forgot the tomatoes. Oh, well, we're gonna see what happened. He's gonna start singing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, we're seeing what happened then. Okay, cool. What? Barry! What? Oh my god! Dad? Okay, so we're gonna find out what happened to his mum then. Right. Yeah, he can run quite fast, can't he? It's bizarre, like some of the visuals are really impressive and others not so much. So he's doing that thing again to turn back time. Okay. Ooh. What on earth is going on? Now he's going back. Huh? What's going on? So he's going back. So can he choose when to stop it and... That's the babies that were falling, right? That's crazy. You step on the wrong blade of grass, you have no idea what the consequences to that could be. The butterfly effect, right? The butterfly effect, that's a good movie. Ashton Kutcher. Don't be put off by his name, it's a fantastic time travel movie. I could see both of them. I... You shouldn't mess with time. There are these scars we have make us who we are. We're not meant to go back and fix them. Spoken like a true dark knight. Do you want to live your past? Live your life? That's why I love Affleck as Batman, because Affleck as a man has got a bit of a tormented soul. Can't talk about the I'm case at all. I'm not here as a reporter. Can we talk? No. I feel really bad about earlier. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a klutz, isn't he? I lost my mom to a tragedy. Is that why you got into criminal forensics? She's a bit of a stalker, isn't she, this one? There's got to be a way to fix it, right? I mean, that's kind of why... So he's thinking, tick-tock, tick-tock, let's go back and do it. Dad wasn't even at home. My mom sent him to go get a can of tomatoes. All he needs to do is go back and when he walks past the camera, go, Oi, and the guy will look up at the camera. That's it. <laughs> Three wives, really. That's it. So go back to the store. If my mom doesn't forget the tomatoes in the first place, then he never leaves. And go to the store and just shout, Oi, in front of the camera and your dad will look up. So if he's going back, don't he need food? Okay, CGI versions of Henry Cavill. Yeah, some of the CGI in this is really bad. Like, I'm not hating, but it doesn't look good. God, what would you do if you could go back and change something? I don't know. I don't know what I would do. That's got to be torture, though, isn't it? To go back and see someone you've lost. Yeah, that's got to be difficult. So that should just be it, right? But what went wrong? So he's changed everything now just by doing that. Wow. Oh. Uh-oh. What on earth? What the heck was that? Is that like an evil version of him? Or another version from the future saying, don't mess with time, maybe. <laughs> nice jumper, granny jumper. Is his mum there or not? I bet it's not her. Oh, it is his mum. Leave him alone, he's perfect. Hmm. Oh, could you imagine? I love you more. I loved you first. Right, cut your hair. So there's another version of him there, obviously. Uh, how can I help? Oh. You go to the aquarium or the circus or to the, the park and you can push me on a swing. So he's acting weird, mate. Experimenting. Oh, that's him. The, the other him. I have to shit. So the other version of him is... <laughs> okay. So does he know that he is... Does the other one know? I think I'm having a mushroom flashback. Is that a thing? How old are you? <laughs> yeah, but so is the other one another flash? You are not anything, which is good. So it's alternate timelines and universes, right? Okay. Do the thing. Fine. <laughs> 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 so 
so it's gonna it's gonna be a movie about if you can go back and change things you can but at what cost at what cost you don't stop talking it's not charming it's abrasive and aha god i am starting to realize what people mean yes that's good that he acknowledged how annoying he can be you pass out you wake up and you forget that anything ever happened and it wouldn't be wrong right yeah like the cgi on the other one's face there was terrible who's your date with iris west oh my god God. Oh, shame. I'm actually gonna go. What do you mean? So the douchebag version of himself got a date with a girl. This storm's gonna ruin my date. It's September 29th. Is this the same date? This is the day. Oh. The day I got my powers. Oh. And if you're not there, it... He's gonna be on his date. If you go back in time in Marvel's time travel, you change something. If I went back to two minutes ago and changed it, the timeline would split into two, yeah? So it would become the one that we've got and the one that we was already living would carry on as it is. So he's back, he's into the one that's changed. So the other one doesn't have a Barry Allen. It's just continuing on and he's in this alternate one. So it doesn't matter if anything happens in this timeline, it's not going to alter the other timeline because that's still doing what it's doing. So I don't know if it's the same as this or this works differently. We'll see. Huh. So he's, he's fucking it up even more, I think. Okay, I just opened those windows. Uh-oh. He's messed it up even more, like I said. Oh my god. It worked. So we've got two Barry Allens. This is going to be like an ultimate head mess. Uh, I bet that hurt. Go check it. But, but because he's been hit twice now, the original Barry Allen, doesn't that mess him up? It's not going to work, mate. Obviously. That was the most obvious of all obvious. So he's lost his powers and given it to him, you see. Hit twice. It's not gonna work. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, because he's been hit twice. So it's gone through him and passed on to someone else. I have powers now? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> now he's going to pass out, no energy. <laughs> yeah, this version of Barry Allen is even more annoying. And the song playing, super grass, all right. Yep, causing a lot of trouble here. Kind of like the real life Ezra Miller in it, really. <laughs> All right, as silly as it is, that's quite funny. That's quite funny. The flasher. I'm funny. Dear, oh dear. But is this... No, so this universe might not even have a Bruce Wayne Batman. You see what I'm saying? Because it's different. That was funny though. Some things you can move, like soy sauce. This is a little bite. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're amazing. It does have some good humor in it, which I weren't expecting. I I'll give it that. It's got some funny bits. The first two, yes. The third one, no. I've figured that part out. Yeah, I bet you'd be absolutely starving after doing something like that. Or we'll pick this up tomorrow. That's what I mean. I could imagine you would absolutely be effed. You're going to push this button and the silk molecules are going to uncoil, absorbing atmospheric gases and expanding the suit. Oh, he's giving him the suit. I see. I see. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, look how bad that looks, though. You see the CGI? That's not good, man. <laughs> it hurts. You know where it hurts? In my dick. Okay. <laughs> and then maybe we can find some way to get me back to the future. Back to the future. Eric Stoltz is your boy in that. That's funny. No, Eric Stoltz was the original. The movie Back to the Future. Eric Stoltz, for those that don't know, who was in The Fly 2, of course, he also appeared in Pulp Fiction, was the original Marty McFly in Back to the Future. So you can check out on YouTube, he filmed the first half of the movie, but they decided to change and get Michael J. Fox to play Marty McFly because it wasn't working. General Zodzia. Oh, okay. 
So this is 2013 our time. I don't know what time it is there. I come from a world far from yours. This is crazy. Your world. This is crazy. What's happening? So does that mean doomsday and all that's going to happen after? He's an alien and, and he's very powerful. Okay. Zod killed thousands of people. There was nothing I could do. Even if you do, you can't mess with this stuff. You can't mess with the stuff. I had just gotten my powers. Ah, we're going to see. Started destroying Metropolis, so I, I just I just went there and I... So we just tried to save a few people. There's this kid. Uh, I, I got him, but then I, oh, I no. get his dad. But he saved one. One is better than nothing. Do you see what I mean? At least he done one good thing. Doesn't matter. It's one life. If I can find the entire Justice League, then maybe I can prevent the whole thing from ever even happening at all. In theory, is good, but he's ignoring his own strict rule of the butterfly effect. Albert, he's not a super mermaid. Okay, he's he's half Atlantean, half you. It is him. That is the guy I was thinking of earlier. Super mermaid? No. The piano guy. <laughs> he's mad talented. This guy. Hello. Uh, hello, uh, Thomas Curry. Yes. Do you recognise him? Okay, and your wife is the Queen of Atlantis. Oh, shame. No. At some point or another. Very funny, asshole. So is that him or is that it? not him? This is a disaster. I, I, I completely destroyed history. Yeah, this is what I'm trying to say. It's a completely different timeline. It's the wrong actor and it's upside down. Is it? <laughs> That's funny. Famously played by Michael J. Fox. The guy from Footloose. Oh, shame. He's fucked up. Great balls of fire. Top Gun. No, no, no. no. That is good. That's, that's quite clever. I like that they've done all that. There's no Batman. I'm Batman. What did you just say? I'm Batman. Batman. <laughs> yeah, dude, nobody knows who he really is. So Batman's there, so that's where we're finding Keaton. Cole. Barry. Barry. Gary. Barry! I can't believe how good this is. I'll be honest with you, I know it might sound like I'm being negative the way I'm talking about it, but I'm picking apart things. That's just what I do. But I'm actually really... Enjoying this, which I didn't think I would. I think this is really good so far. I thought they were teasing us with the old Batman theme for a second. Where's Alfred? They wouldn't be able to do that, would they, CGI? Hey, I didn't know you painted. What's going on here? I do like some of the twists and turns in the way that they've done this. It could have been really bad, but I quite like it. Bruce? You don't have, like, Downton Abbey in your universe? Uh-oh, who's that? Sizzling zucchini square. Oh wow. That's him, obviously. Nice. They're trying to copy the Guardians of the Galaxy with all the music. I noticed that as well. I think this is James Gunn's influence. Wow. You hungry? Okay, so what's different? Why? How? Time isn't linear, right? You shouldn't mess with things. I was going to explain it in layman's terms, even though this isn't real. No future. Time doesn't work like that. Okay. It goes both ways. Actually, it goes many ways. Okay. Okay, but in an ontological paradox model, there's not... <laughs> Have some food, mate. Nice. What you eventually end up with is this. Yeah, complete mess. What it is, it's a hot mess. So don't mess with it. The Zod character is about to destroy the Earth. Yes. Superman, who can stop Zod, shoots lasers out of his eyes. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you're mad. I don't call myself Super Batman. <laughs> Wait, he's Batman? Oh my God, why do you think that... You know what I mean? You're the best detective in the world. You're probably the only person who can help me find him. Are we rolling with the fact that this is Batman in Batman 89's timeline? Let's just roll with that for a second. But he's cleared up everything. Do you see what I'm saying? He's got rid of Joker, Scarecrow and everyone else. That's all done. Penguin, they're all gone. So Gotham is a safe place. Batcave. What is this place? What do you think it is? It's the Batcave, you idiot. So we're going to get to see the old school Batmobile. And the reason Alfred ain't there, he would have died by now, sadly. There she is. That's probably, is it the best Batmobile? Maybe. Nice to have the old uh, Batman theme as well, the old school one. 
That's incredible. What's your favourite Batman? Who's your favourite Batman? And what's your favourite Batmobile? Tell me down in the comments. Don't have to be the same, you know, Batman and Batmobile, but which are your favourites? It's hard not to love this one. Looking for unidentified objects entering Earth's atmosphere anywhere near Kansas. So he's looking for Clark, and it's not going to be Clark, it's going to be Supergirl. <laughs> Death of the Joker. I like that. Dude, he kept on. it. Yeah, Jack Nicholson. Stop messing around, Barry. I won't say it again. Sorry, Mom. Shut up. <laughs> you just walk around thinking that you're so funny and so cool. Ezra should take his own advice here. Mom bought us that monkey. Gives us monkey stuff all the time. Not all the time. Just be kind of a dick sometimes, but let's face it, I am pretty obnoxious. Yes, you are. Come on, this place is pretty cool, right? Yeah. It's so frustrating as well because I really love Ezra Miller. I love him. There's another great movie he done when he was younger with Tilda Swinton called We Need to Talk About Kevin. And I loved him since then. Um, even in the, the Grindelwald movies, Fantastic Beasts, I love him in those. The fact that he's so troubled as a person, I, I hate it. Like, I'm not defending him because I think he's done some awful things and should be judged and tried by that. But it's frustrating because I do like him. So he didn't end up with Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman then. Here he goes. Wow. I wonder if he could move his head yet or if it's still... You know what I mean? Oh, cup of coffee, mate. It's nice of him. So falls the house of Wayne. How are you going to get to Russia? Here he comes. So if Alfred is not there and no one else, who's going to be like the guy in the chair? Oh, it's amazing to see that again, the bat wing. It's a little bit different. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. That is nice to see that. That is so, so cheesy, but at the same time, it's heartwarming. Batman 89, here we go. That's definitely the best Batwing. Oh. You're strapped to your parachutes. Oh, nice. Here he goes. The Arctic, Do you know what I've noticed as well? Ever since we've turned up with Batman, it's a lot darker. It's giving it the, uh, the Danny Elfman music a bit more of a vibe. Do you see what I'm saying? It's really going down that, that route. I wonder if Tim Burton had anything to do with like this, this movie. Oops. Oops. Right, well, they can see you now. That didn't go well. Slow. Slow. Won't that break his body? Yeah. Oh, here we go. This might hurt. It's going to hurt him. Go on, mate. Oh. Go on, son. He's smashing it. That was an Affleck move. Sorry, that was though. And that's definitely not Keaton in that suit now. And he uses the Batarang a lot more. That was awesome. Very, very good. That's where you keep Superman. But it's not Superman, is it? It's Supergirl. So there must be Krypton or something... Uh, Kryptonite or something in there to hold her in there, right? There she is. She don't look too well. It's not him. It's got to go. No, 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 no. It must be some sort of like Kryptonite or some shit like that. Maybe that's messed her up. I'm guessing, assuming it must be. I got you. Hello. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's great. It did that and nothing happened. <laughs> That'll do, well done. Oh, shit. Uh oh, where are we going? Well, this don't look good. He looks great, doesn't he? Uh oh. They're gonna need her help. Let's go. Quick. Yeah, they've done it. They're out. Nice. <laughs> That's quality. Oh shit. Ah oh, no, she's gonna fly up. The sun. The sun. I've got to give it some praise because it's it's linking everything together very nicely. It doesn't feel rushed. It's doing it nicely. Here she comes. Go on, girl. Smash it. Bye. See you later. <laughs> so she's the same as Kalel. It must have been a girl that was sent back in this universe then. <laughs> oh, home run. Nice. I'm really interested to know her story on how she got caught or did they catch her from young? Do you see what I mean? We love you, Keaton. <laughs> yeah, nice. It's nice how he's been handled. I like that. Who are you? Holy Funyuns. They saved you, mate. Be grateful. What do you want with Kalel? He's my friend. Do you know him? Yeah, where is Kalel? Uh, who's Kalel again? It's Superman. Who's Clark? Clark is his human name. So where is he? Looks like he never made it to Earth in this universe. Right. Oh, so they must have separated. So you thought a baby? No, you idiot. But you're solar powered. Good for you. I've been trying to... Oh, um... And the suit. I quite like her though. She's cool though. It could have been done in a way that was, you know, we're girls and we're better than men like they do with all the other movies. But I quite like how she's been handled, man. Like she's kick-ass and she's cool with it. Didn't think I'd be excited. She was the thing I was least looking forward to. And I like her. <laughs> yep, she feels strong. If we don't stop Captain Zod, he'll kill thousands of people. Billions. A lot of humans are dicks. There's babies. So she must have been young when they caught her then. A lot of humans are worth saving. Because she, she, she was experienced in the thing that Clark had as a child with the ears, hearing. I went back in time to save her. I'm not going to lose her again. And he understands that. That pain made me who I am. I'm not sure I know who I am without it. And that's who the Dark Knight is. Pain, suffering. Putting on a cape and fighting crime would bring my parents back. You can't bring them back, can you? Douse yourself in industrial chemicals while electrocuting you. <laughs> Do you know what? I think that probably gives Kate and Batman a bit of peace. It does. He's like, he's rolling with it. It gives his heart and soul a bit of peace because he now realises in an alternate timeline they were saved or there because there's millions of multiverses and timelines. So he knows now that, yeah, they were safe. They were OK somewhere else. And that's enough for him. I like that. Yeah, again, some of the CGI bits just look a bit silly. Zod and the World Engine. Is this where they were supposed to go and meet Kalel? Yeah, look. Ah. Oh. Do they know about her or not? Were they after Kalel or her? Oh, no, 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 because he didn't make it to Earth. Right, right, right. This is crazy doing this. Well, it's going to work, obviously, but this is nuts. Uh, for the record, I think this is insane. See, he thinks it's nuts. Let's do it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. 
I can't believe how much I'm enjoying this movie. I can't believe I'm enjoying this movie. So, honestly, I was trying to be positive, but I thought I was going to watch this and be sitting here really hating it. It's a good film. Do it! Here we go. Bang. Here we go. Is it going to work? That looks wicked. Oh, gosh. He doesn't look too well, does he? He's going to... Oh my goodness. There's no more power, so he's going to have to do it. Electric boy's going to have to do it. Come on. Run around in a circle and the other one will do it. What? What's she going to do? I thought the other boy was going to do it. Electric boy. Oh, is she going to take him up there? Take him up to the sky to get fried. I got you. I like that. Yeah, she's fucking sick, bruv. Her character's got it right. She's not flash, she's calm. Superman and Supergirl are so powerful. She's got it right. Is it gonna work? Come on, dude. What? Yeah, he's starting to heal. It's gonna be okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Is he making it? Yeah, he's spraying it. He's making another flesh suit. That's funny. And he's using the Batman cowl. Oh shit, yeah. Who was that? The monster version of the flesh. Have we still got to deal with that? Well, check this out. What? It's a bit more loose. Ah, oh, okay. Idiot. I'm glad you're okay. I have to ask you something. Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Because that's what he does. You know what this symbol stands for. Hope. It means hope, right? Hope, yeah, does it mean hope? <laughs> we are people of hope, not war. She's the best one in it. I'm saying it. She's the best one in it so far. So you're... She's the best one. I can't believe I'm saying that. She's she's wicked, bruv. What did you say uh, we were called again? Justice League. We could definitely use a Batman. Justice League. Are you in? Of course he's in. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Let's get nuts. He's up for it, mate. He's up for it. As of now, we're in uncharted territory. Yeah. Barry, what are you doing? What? Our kids are going to want to see this. Your kids? Our kids. Does that mean he loves her? Ah, oh, there's something between the Flash and Supergirl. Oh, okay. But he's an idiot. I don't know why she would go for him. He's a dick. This is good stuff, here we go. So it's Zod. <laughs> yep, awesome. <laughs> oh, that's smart. <laughs> I noticed that they've done it in the desert because it saves on the budget of CGI for all the buildings in a town and the city. Do you see what I mean? So she's gonna fight Zod. And they've got to take out the others. Oh, that big guy's still alive, isn't he? Of course. Yep. Okay, he is strong. Yeah, they're Kryptonian and we won't be able to kill them, but we can slow them down for her. It's like what Batman said in Justice League. One at a time. One at a time. Let's go party. Do they know about them? This world must die so that ours may live again. How the heck are they going to stop it this time? To Krypton's rebirth inside a Kryptonian child. Cal. He's not here. You have failed. We found him. Oh, what? We intercepted his pod. Oh, it was them. Your cousin was not the one we needed. It was her. You are the one. Ah. It's in her. What did you do to Cal? Kal-El's dead. They killed him. What did you do? Oh my god. The infant did not survive. Oh, go on, girl. Fuck him up. Oh, that gave me goosebumps, bruv. That gave me goosebumps. Okay, that didn't look good. Why are they still talking? Get on with it. Yeah. Kick ass. What if I just emperor this guy? Oh, Emperor this guy like Star Wars. I like that. 
Yeah, good girl, saving people as well. Yeah, see, James Gunn's influence. You've got to have the silly rock music over every big fight scene. That's the one thing that leaves me concerned with DC is that he's going to do this with every movie. Guardians of the Galaxy, isn't it? But the music's taken away from the emotion of this moment. You see what I mean? Oh, look at that. I'm going after the big one. Here we go. Force fields. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's got to save him because he's going to crash. Is he going to die? Oh. Oh, no, 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 that can't happen. What? That can't happen. What? No. Oh, shit. What on earth? What are you doing? Okay, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. Oh, wow. No, nah, he's going to go back in time. He's going to go back in time. Save all of this. They've got the codex. They're going to wipe out the planet. Batman's dead. He's going to... Of course he is. Let's go it's back. No, it's not supposed to happen. Zod won. Only for a second, though. It's okay. We can fix this. Right, so it's gone back to that point where they're... Right, and they both rush off. Pull off that gunship is shield protected. Roger that. Well done. It stopped him. Yeah, big dude. <laughs> yeah, mate. Get off my ship. It's good to have that big guy again. He got out. He done the right thing. Yes. Right, he's alive. At least Batman's okay. What is he doing? Doosh. Have one of them, Zod. Oh. What's he gonna do? Uh oh. So he's gonna take out Barry Allen. Oh shit. He needs to die. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, how are they going to stop this? Go on. Have that on your head. Oi, that's wicked. Three of them. His head's going to blow up. Surely. I thought you put another one on him. Yeah, yeah, he did. Three bombs to the back of the head. Well done, Batman. Oh dear. Be okay. Not this time. Maybe some other time. He was supposed to die in this timeline. This is how he was supposed to die. We can't bring you back, can we? You already did. In other words, it gave him a last shot at, at hope and life. Oh, I think that was a fantastic end for Keaton's Batman as well. Sad, but... Are we going to try again? He's going to try again. Holy crap! <gasps> Zora's now, now she wants some. Yeah, have one of them, Zora. Oh! Have that, Zora. Again. My god, this is crazy. I went back in time initially. Yeah, because mom died. How does she know? It's not a mistake. We can save her. You can't save everyone. This world dies. Fuck. Fuck. Look around. Are you telling me the Flash fouled? The whole movie was built up and he fouled. You don't want me to be? Well, guess what? It's too late. Oh. Nobody dies. Barry. He is the other one, the crazy one. The one at the start that he was fighting. That's the monster he became because he couldn't accept it. She'll always be. Be alive somewhere in time. Yeah. Just give me one more time. Barry! Ah! And he becomes that because he never gives up. So is it like an evil version of himself? I've lived more than you can dream. I've lived more than you can dream. That's a good line. He becomes a hate filled version of himself. I've got it almost figured out. How long? Been Jesus. Come on, Barry. He can't accept. My God. And it's destroying everything. 
Ah, the original, George, George Reeves. Oh my God, Christopher Reeve. And her as well, Helen Slater. Wow, that's crazy. CGI, but still, rest in peace, Christopher Reeve. Adam West. Nicholas Cage is Superman. You're kidding me, bruv. I can't believe they've put that in. That's incredible, Bray. Incredible. We did this. We're, we're destroying the fabric of everything. All for one thing to save the mum. You can't. It stops when they fixed it! Go back and let mum die. You're the inevitable intersection. He has to kill him. He has to kill with the other one. So he's basically just killed himself. Like by killing him, he's just destroyed himself. Point being, you can't change certain things. That's what this message is. That's what this is all about. You took my, my lover. Damn. In order for things to be repaired, you must let go. I can't believe we got to see Nicolas Cage at Superman, though. That was cool. I like that. So he's going to go back to where it all was and accept, and he's going to have to accept it. You still love that cereal when I was a kid? My son goes nuts for it. At least he's getting to say goodbye to her. Do you know what I mean? What's her name? She's the best. He's crying. You okay? Yeah, I'm just... Oh. Oh. This is what pisses me off about Ezra Miller. He's such a good actor as well. Do you see what I mean? I don't want to hack. Ah. Oh. oh, that's heartbreaking. As silly as a random as it is, I still that's tragic. I feel so sorry for him. Oh, that's heartbreaking, mate. I hate how he is as a person that he's for some reason or another, so tortured as a person, Ezra Miller, because he's just, he's got such talent. He's such a good actor, man, and it's like, dude. Oh, that's awful. You've got to let go of, you've got to let go. The camera, make your dad look at the camera. He looks up. Right here, you can. He got him to look up. Reaching for a can of tomato. Ah, uh, but then that would also have effects. You see, butterfly effect. Food. I was thinking. Um, Maybe we should go out sometime. You should ask me to dinner. It's a date, Barry. Wow, she wants it. Bang bang. I'd love to. Thank you. Call me. She is pretty though. Bang bang bang. You were right, okay? And I didn't listen. And he's there. It's going to be Michael Keaton. Oh, that's so funny. Who the fuck is this? Brilliant. Brilliant. That is so funny. You're not Batman. What's wrong with you? Uh, it's because that's what I'm saying, because of the thing with his dad. Saved his daddy, changed things. I really enjoyed that. I'm surprised how much I've enjoyed that movie. Right, ladies and gents, let's get to our review for The Flash 2023. As with all of our movies that we watch on the channel, we do the good, the bad, and the ratings. So, first of all, I'm going to say for the good, number one, the story for this film was really fantastic, and I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. If I'm being completely honest with you, I thought this movie was going to be terrible, and I found myself really enjoying it, and I will definitely be watching it again. Secondly, I've got to say, I think Ezra Miller was absolutely brilliant in the movie. I found the second one a bit annoying, but we'll talk about that a bit later on. In general, I found him really, really impressive in this movie and it's just such a shame with all the antics going on in his real life that kind of deterred this movie from doing so well. Thirdly for the good I've got to say the star of the show has got to be Supergirl and again I can't believe I'm sitting here saying this because I was expecting this to be a woke mess and I thought she was brilliant. The way her tone was very subtle it was like I'm going to help I'm here to do good. She spoke the same way and tone as Kal-El it was absolutely perfect. 
I can't believe I'm sitting here saying I would watch a Supergirl movie with her. I thought she was great. I don't care. I thought she was great. Now let's get to some of the bad. Michael Shannon as Zod was so underused, man. You've got an actor as good as him and you don't use him to his full potential, I think is a travesty. He barely featured in the movie till the final sequence and I think that's a shame because Zod in Man of Steel was brilliant and I really like Michael Shannon. Next up, we need to talk about the terrible CGI. I don't know whether DC have just decided to sort of nah, write this movie off because, you know, it's DC, but the CGI was tragic in some points. It reminded me a bit of the Scorpion King with The Rock. Now that movie's got to be around 20 odd years old and that scene where The Rock comes through as the Scorpion King for the first time, the CGI is terrible. This reminded me of that. Thirdly, I've got to point out, and sorry, I've got to say it, the second version of Barry Allen was more annoying than the first one. Now he doesn't annoy me that much. It's not to the point where I can't watch a movie. If you thought the first version of him was annoying in Justice League, then this is really gonna rub you up the wrong way. Realistically though, the bad things of this movie didn't deter me from from enjoying it. Sadly, the CGI is the biggest downfall of this movie. It stands out like a sore thumb. Now let's get to the rating. Honestly, for The Flash, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. I really, really enjoyed this movie. You've heard my thoughts on the movie, ladies and gentlemen. More importantly, I'd love to know yours down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ramon, this is Hit or Miss TV. Make sure you like and subscribe and all the usual stuff that everyone says. I've enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. You can watch more movies. There's one up here in the video. You can watch that one. Or, you can see my face now. You can watch this one here. I'm on the floor for no reason. Benefit of doing a video. This video here, this one, yeah? Thanks for watching. Bye.